Hey guys, so here is part two of my um, using SketchUp for a landscape design series. Um, I guess we can almost consider this part three if you want to consider my little overview of the program. Um, but this is going to be the first part in which we're actually going to start our design. And in this section we're going to do the actual house design, which is obviously extremely important because that's what you're going to be working off for pretty much every project you do. Um, so when I start, before I start a design, I go to my site, take my measurements, um, and just get your normal measurements of your house, making sure you get your elevations too, obviously, because um, that's going to play a huge factor. So we're going to start with um, not a job that I've actually gone to, but just a job I've picked from um, a you know architecture website. So right here I have on my tablet, we have this house. I don't know if you can see it. It's a basic ranch, choosing something really easy for us to use. So we're going to start by drawing the outline of this property, of this house, to start with. So we're going to start, we know, with the front of the house. So we're going to take our line tool, we're going to click, we're going to draw over, and we know the width of this house is 56 feet. So we're going to type in 56, there's the front of our house, pretty much. Then we know the depth of the house is 45 feet, 8 inches. 45, 5, 8 inches. So there's the back of our house. Um, and that has one little jut out in the back. Which, let me see. Um, which is about 20 feet, 6 inches. And then it comes back in about 7 feet 8 inches. And then we're going to run this line. Um, sometimes it'll come up with a dotted line showing where these two lines will connect. Um, it's really finicky. I'm not sure why it doesn't always do it. So we're going to run this line out longer than it needs to be. Press escape. Then we're going to take this line making sure we're running on the red axis connect it and so there is the foundation of our house. So that was super easy. Um, granted this is a really easy house to do but some houses are a lot more difficult than this one. So next we are going to pull our foundation up. So we're actually going to make the foundation, the concrete foundation for this house. So let's say that when you step out of this house you are going to step down two steps. So normal step roughly is seven inches. So we're going to bring this foundation up 14 inches. So we're going to zoom in a little bit, make it a little bit easier to work with. So we'll just double check our measurement and we have one foot two inches. So 14 inches. So now we are going to actually build the house. So we're going to start so let's just assume that this house is going to have, I don't know, nine foot ceilings. So we are going to make it ten feet tall, let's say. Let's just pick a number. It doesn't have to be perfect. I never really worry about this part too much because the whole point of you making this design is so the client can see the landscape, not the actual house. So as long as you have the right shape and they can picture that this is their house, then you should be fine. So we're going to go all around this house, create our 10 foot high walls, connecting them as we go. You can see it's actually creating our walls as we go. We'll do our last. Alright, so there we go. So there's our um, actual house. So this is just a one story ranch. So we're just going to make some kind of generic um, roof lines. This one's really easy. Sometimes the roof lines are really what's tricky. And you can't worry about it too much. Just make it look as good as you can. Um, so we're going to take the midpoint here. So it's showing us the midpoint. And we're going to go up, let's say, make sure it's on the blue axis. Let's go up, let's say... I don't know, maybe um, we'll go up 10 feet. 
Then we're going to connect, give us the first side roof, and then we're going to delete this line um, just to get it out of there because it doesn't look very good. So then we're going to do the same here. And what we're going to do is we're going to draw this line. We're going to separate these two sections of the house. We're going to get our midpoint again, go up off of there, same thing, 10 feet. And then you can connect that, and there is our first roof. So then we're going to go to the midpoint of this, which is right here. And we're going to go, let's, so this is the main part of the house. Let's say we go up 14 feet. It might be a little high, but then we're going to draw this line across. Draw this line up 14 feet bring it to here then we are going to connect our roof just like this and so there it is now our house is pretty much drawn out so I like to just go around if there's any of these lines that use as guides I just use them you know to get rid of so there we go. So now this is the back of our house right here. And this is the front of the house. So we're going to do a, a patio on this. So this has nothing to do. Don't use the front of the house. Just stay looking at the back of the house. Um, I usually don't get carried away doing windows um, and doors. Yeah, I do doors, but not so much windows. Um, you can. That's really your, you know, up to you how crazy you want to get. So we're just going to throw our door in here. So we are going to measure over, let's say our door is, uh, let's say it is eight feet off. I like to do a little kickboard, so do a seven inch. Let's say it's a six foot wide door. Let's go, let's say six feet, six inches. draw a midpoint and then there is the door so simple as that don't get any crazier with that as far as the house goes so there's the first part guys there's the house um, so stay tuned for the rest and we'll keep working on this so thanks for watching and stay tuned